Now welcome back to my product review series. Uh, as you know the, the idea behind these product reviews is to give companies a bit of feedback about their accessories and also to drive the, the development of better kit basically for us and our endoscopists around the world. Now today we're going to compare needles. Needles you would have thought would be a simple thing to, to make. You know you, you'll, have a, you'll have a pointy pointy bit at one end and then you'll have a plastic bit at the other end you shove the plastic bit, bit, bit down the needle comes out and uh, and is all done and I remember the first time I was handed this uh, the, the first generation uh, Olympus injection needle I think the Olympus called it something like injector force max and you know if someone hands you a piece of kit called injector force max you know there are issues with it <laughs> Uh, and there were issues with this thing. It was blunt as anything. Um, you had to shove really hard to get the thing under the uh, the needle under the, underneath the mucosa. And at the other end, the inject the your your assistant will be going crazy, squeezing liquid down it because the channel was tiny through it because the metal was really really thick. So I think I used it twice or something, and then decided I don't want to use that again, and and promptly moved on to 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 this. To, to this baby, the uh, US endoscopy articulator needle, which I think is a piece of beauty. Um, it's a stainless steel sheet like this, uh, so you, it won't kink, and a sharp needle on the other end, uh, spring loaded, lockable, loved it. And I've used it for many years, so this is now my champion needle. However, more recently, Bos uh, Olympus, I mean, has come back with a new, with their next generation needle. Um, this thing here they call it the the needle master um, and um, I've got high hopes for it um, to see if they kind of manage to address all the issues with the first generation needle so what we're going to do is put the uh, uh, put these two needles through four rounds basically comparing things like um, control flow rate sharpness of the needle and the price of course the price is important um, now round one just to just to let you know if you want to do do these experiments yourself the way I compare the kind of control of the needle is is basically to look at the issue of the needle not coming out when you're in the cecum or you're in some tortuous position your your assistant is putting the needle out but it's not actually coming out the other end and, and the way I kind of measure that is I put a, I hope you can see this I put a, a loop on the sheet like this 50 centimeter loop and I check the needle comes in and out I put another another loop on it like this try the same thing again does it come in does it come out yes and uh, so far so good the US endoscopy articulate and it does work but when I put three loops on it it struggles and I no longer have good control and I noticed that in the in the colon too there are times when your assistant are putting the needle out but actually nothing's happening at your end and you jiggle the needle a little bit and then hesitantly hesitantly it kind of stutters out <laughs> And you're really relieved of course because you want you want to use a needle but it should be more snappy than that so I wasn't surprised that the articulator needle could only handle two loops but the the new uh, Olympus needle was great it could actually handle four loops uh, four twists on the sheet like this before it gave up I was amazed I tried the I tried this uh, down an endoscope too with the with the classical kind of big twist down with a big uh, with a big um, uh, wheel full full clockwise twist on the little wheel and two loops on the handle and it confirmed it basically the uh, the Olympus uh, needle does handle better it always comes out it always pulls back in and I, I don't know what they've done with the friction between the two sheets of these plastic sheets but it works it uh, there's no doubt about it round one is won by um, by Olympus now round two flow rate a flow rate I measured in a very simple way I filled up a, a, a 50 ml syringe like this with 30 ml of water filled it up and then measured how long it took for me to empty that syringe squeezing as hard as I could with both 
both uh, hands like this to empty the syringe. And um, I was a bit surprised actually, the uterus endoscopy, which the nurses do struggle with uh, to, to inject. You can't have anything bigger than a 5 mil syringe at the other end of, uh, of an articulator needle. The, it took more than a minute to empty 30 mils of water through that, uh, through that needle. It simply is quite narrow inside, whilst it took 27 seconds to empty 30 mils of water down the Olympus uh, uh, injection, injection muster needle. So there's no doubt about it, round two is also won by the Challenger, the uh, Olympus needle. Now the sharpness I measured in a very, very simple way. Uh, I took a quite a thick uh, plastic membrane and then I measured the amount of force it took to force the needle through the plastic. And um, basically the US endoscopy needle took um, 29 newtons to penetrate the plastic, whilst the uh, Olympus uh, injection master took a pressure of a force of rather 55 newtons. So there's no doubt about it. The uh, the the uh, US endoscopy needle is sharper, and I think you can see that on this on this uh, microscope photograph with the old Olympus uh, needle in the middle for kind of comparison. You can see, I think, that the US endoscopy needle is sharper. And uh, I think uh, round number three is won without a doubt by the US endoscopy articulator needle. Now finally price. Uh, price, a word of warning here, a price of course is only applicable to leads. Uh, the actual price you have to pay in your unit might depend on how many needles you use, how much other endosc US endoscopy or, uh, or Olympus kit that you use because sometimes companies bundle, uh, bundle their deals. But suffice to say is that in Leeds we pay the same for both the Olympus and the uh, 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 US endoscopy needle. Which I think if you, if you compare the two I think it doesn't quite make sense you know to be honest because the what you got in the, the, uh, the um, uh, Olympus is a, is a piece of well plastic at one end fancy looking but well, just plastic and then a piece of plastic and then a needle at the other end which is not as sharp as the uh, as the um, US endoscopy needle which is connected the the kind of lockable spring-loaded end on one side and the very very sharp needle sharper lean needle on the other side is connected with a lovely metal stainless steel sheet uh, which no doubt costs a bit of money to make so for all intents and purposes I think the US endoscopy needle should be more expensive uh, than the Olympus needle, but actually it's the same price. It doesn't make any sense. But then, on the other hand, when did you ever hear Olympus, uh, um, you know, coming out as cheap or, or undercharging? I never heard of uh, Olympus uh, being accused of undercharging for any of their kit. So I think that's <laughs> perhaps um, understandable. Now the final scores are in, and there's no doubt about it. My old trusty friend, the the US endoscopy uh, articulator needle, my champion, has been deposed, you know, by the the new usurper, the the Olympus um, uh, needle master. It's basically what what clenches it and I think the these tests have demonstrated it is that it's it's better at this one-to-one -one, the the needle in needle out you reliably get the needle coming in coming out at the other end the flow rate is better too so your assistant will will thank you for the reduced resistance as you inject it however if you work for uh, US endoscopy don't be disheartened because you've got a lovely piece of kit here you know I love the spring loading I love the lockable end I I love the, the, the stainless steel uh, insertion sheath. All you guys need to do is go back to your drawing boards. I mean, you haven't, to be honest, you haven't just redesigned this or re-engineered this for at least 15 years, as far as I know, is to go back to your drawing board and find some way of reducing the friction between the needle and your, uh, your stainless steel sheath. So you get more reliable kind of control of it. If you did that, this, this will, will no doubt become a champion again but at the moment there's no doubt about it the the title goes to the new olympus needlemaster congratulations <laughs>